I raised the kids of a billionaire, I couldn't believe how differently they were raised to be more successful than us. I work as a maid for one of the wealthiest families in America and they raise their kids like I've never seen before. During the interview process, I met the father who's a well-known wealthy multi-hyphenate and he started off by asking me a really weird question. Who do you serve? I was taken aback by this question because I came prepared with potential responses that would explain why I desperately needed this job, but I didn't know how to answer it so I was just honest and responded with, myself. He hired me on the spot and I started the next day. My major tasks for the day were to deep clean the washroom, prepare lunch and dinner, then pick up his son and daughter from high school and cook them dinner. I got my groceries, deep cleaned everything, started food prep, and waited for the kids at the school. This was when I noticed something was off. They're enrolled in public school. I met the children again, after briefly meeting them in the morning, and asked what extracurricular activities they needed me to drop them off to. I know for a fact that wealthy families always enroll their kids in spin classes, music lessons, and foreign language classes. I'd probably be tracked down if I revealed how much money goes into those classes. These parents usually make sure their kids receive an education you definitely can't afford. You can imagine my surprise when the wealthiest 16-year-olds in America told me, we don't have any extracurriculars, we study at home. After eating dinner they disappeared into their rooms and stayed there the whole day. Before I left, I asked their father why he didn't enroll his kids in any extracurricular classes. In his fashion, all he told me was, the school system sucks. Yeah, no, I wasn't buying it. Sure, the school system sucks but he wouldn't send his kids there if it meant they were set up for failure. When I went to the mansion the next day, I was prepared to ask the kids what they did and if their father was negligent. I went to the son's room and he was just lying on his beanbag on his phone. All I could think was, who was I kidding? He's one of the richest kids in America, he can afford to waste his life away. Regardless, I asked what he was up to because I wanted to know what was so different about them than the other rich kids I took care of. He completely shocked me, because most kids that get into this give up after a month. He revealed to me that he was investing in trading stocks. I was like, oh, does your dad teach you that? He said no. He told me that his father doesn't believe in the school system. He believes that the most successful people are those who self-study, are true students, and put in their 10,000 hours. His father was so good at many things like music, computer science, and the arts because he was a dedicated learner. After talking with the kid, he showed me that he's been using an investing app to learn. Since elementary school, he has used programs like Duolingo to perfect his Spanish foundations and Coursera to study in his own time and collect certifications, but this is his latest obsession. He grinded the free lessons they gave, skipped the basics, and remarkably within two months he made his first profit of $270. The craziest part was his father didn't give him or his sister a dime, they worked for their own money. He saw that the app gave you free money when you invited people over and learned how to flip that. He showed his sister too, who's been learning how to invest in her school finance class, but wanted a leg up since she felt like she wasn't getting anything useful out of it. I've never seen a wealthy family like this, that's probably why I've stuck around with them for so long. It's my second year, and the son has gotten so good his portfolio has grown to have an average return of 11% a year. Imagine what he'll be making next year with that progress. They believe in being self-made and that made me realize that's why their father asked me who I serve in the interview. I'm fully aware I'm a maid but ultimately the only person I serve is myself so it's my responsibility to invest in myself. I asked the son if he could give me some pointers from the investing app but he told me, nah, the app has everything you'll need, just start.